quick video, uh, Chalong, Phuket. I don't know what the road's called, but it's the main road where all the Muay Thai camps are. Anyways, we go down this way just a little bit. There's top team Muay Thai. They do uh, MMA stuff too. Make a left and then you'll go take a uh, cheap city bus, 30, 30 baht to Phuket Town. That's where you can take the bus to the airport and stuff like that. Cosa Nostra is an Italian place right here that has amazing pizza. Uh, right there, there's Ali's Barbecue up the way too that has really good uh, veggie skewers and a uh, pretty good deal. And okay, this place is really popular. It's called Fucking Tony. It's called Tony's Restaurant. Let's see, apartments. So the main strip's like a kilometer. Scooters, they got exchange money things. Uh, I just got done staying here for about seven weeks. This is where I get my fruit pretty much every day. Yeah, <laughs> they know me. Uh, mangoes, passion fruit, bananas, coconut. It's a restaurant, too. The, you can get your teeth whitened for kind of expensive, it's like 6,000 baht, which is like uh, $170. Pretty friendly road. Uh, this is where I used to get my coconuts all the time, right here. And then the lady down the road has much bigger ones, so really friendly guys here. The other trainers like to drink here after session. 24 hour family mart, always open. Cheap water there. There's like a million of these buses per day. There she is. Hey! What's up? <laughs> yeah, go, uh, no, go to Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai, yeah. Uh. House? Huh? Oh, one week. One week? Yeah, yeah. And then Lao. And then Cambodia, yeah. Long bus ride. Bus ride to Bangkok, yeah, it's a long bus ride, so. I'm doing a video. So yeah, I'll be back to see ya, yeah, bye. Bye bye, That's my beautiful, my beautiful coconut lady. Uh, so I get my laundry done right here. It's 40 baht per kilogram. So usually it's anywhere from 30 to 100, depending on how much you got. This is my favorite place to eat right here, the Rich House. Amazing French toast. Pad Thai is the best. This is really cheap. This is a smoothie place. Uh, drinking spot right there for drinking cheap beer. You get a tall beer for like 50, 54 baht. Oh, this is my favorite house on the block. It just got a just really uh, simple, quiet. You could probably write a novel there and uh, meditate all day. It's like one of those places. Anyway, I'm just fucking around. ATM. I'd recommend using it here instead of the airport. The airport doesn't give you as good a conversion rate. place is always packed. It's a pretty busy street. Uh, a couple years ago, if you look on Google Street View, there's like not a lot going on, but uh, this place is closed. Uh, it's the Beagle. Hey! I don't think he's, he's a little shy. He's really cool though. This place is new. Uh, I had the salmon pizza there and it was uh, pretty good. the sports bar here they play all the soccer games and rugby Muay Thai they got all the good stuff there a beer is like 70 baht ate here several times kind of like a clean eating style place got the mashed sweet potatoes there pretty often uh, this is a cool house here there's a 
gym that uh, is open Monday through Saturday, 7 to 10. I never went in here because my hostel had a gym. Here's my smoothie, guys. So Outback is right here. You just make a left, and Outback is just down there, just, just, a, just a 30 second walk. Here's where I get my post uh, training smoothie every day. I would give them my powders and algae and protein, and they blended it up with some banana and honey. Anyway, yeah. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks, uh, when I come back, I'm taking the bus. Don't tell me. Heart and bow. I got a massage there maybe 10 times. Uh, they do good. They do good work there. Okay. The Jab Boutique. Are we here? Six minutes? Oh, we're doing fine. This place has amazing green curry. I got the tofu green curry with uh, two rice. Comes out to 140 baht. And uh, God, I must have had that like five or ten times. Little pharmacy. Um, you can get scuba certified here. Uh, yeah. A lot of Muay Thai shops, a lot of salons. You've got some yogurt right here. Uh, apartments all over the place. There's pools everywhere. There's a few different spas that you can pay like 100 or 200 baht for and get access to the pools and um, probably the saunas. And I think. Unit 27 up the road here has like a cold, they have cold dead, uh, cold plunges or uh, like cold tubs, I don't know what you want to call it. Bad boy shop, dude. Bringing it back to the 90s. What's up, dude? Not many people eat here. It's kind of weird. It looks busy now. That's good for them. Scooters crash on Saturday night. One of them was my trainer, and uh, it took the ambulance guys like five or ten minutes to get there. And it's, it's literally like a 20 second, a 10 second drive. Uh, yeah. But yes, the ambulance is That's good. So here's Dragon. We used to train in the back there, but now we kind of would always come up here just to kind of, you know, let people know that. There's training going on. There's another uh, apartment here. They got a nice pool there. Dragon Muay Thai. I paid about 5,000 baht a month for one training session a day. I think it's about 8,000 baht a month for two sessions a day. Private training is 600 baht. You can train with whoever. Uh, it depends what you like. Got a couple smoothies here. Oh, here's my guys here. Just taking a just taking a tour of the road, giving people info that I wanted before I came. Yeah, yeah. I'm just walking to the end and come back real quick. Yeah, yeah. Those are my dudes. like the reggae bar here. Uh, cool owners. Oh, there's my guy. <laughs> my coconut. Coconut guy. Um, here's a vegan restaurant. So that's pretty cool. Get the Mexican bowl or the uh, breakfast burrito. I'd recommend both are awesome. I, these are anywhere from like 200 a day to like, I don't know, 2,000 a month. Really, really affordable. A couple gas stations on the road too. My lady here, papaya. I'll be uh, okay. I'll check it out. She's got papaya, uh, mango steen, watermelon. This place, I must have the mushroom soup here ten times. Uh, it's sixty baht. The mushroom soup, try it out. I don't know what they call it. They call it. Um, Mushroom Kong, I believe is what it's called. Eat Mushroom Kong soup, yeah. 70 baht with some rice. Uh, so good, and the, you like a bunch of different mushrooms and veggies, really good broth. Family Mart. So this place is 
also 24 7 for uh you get like uh, 60 bot get you like um six huge bottles of water so it's like two days worth of water for like a dollar or two i think i oh uh, here's a uh, um i just do a video i'll come back i come back yeah this is the, my coconut lady here she's got the, the biggest nuts Yeah, some places you like drink coconut and you get like three sips and I heard coconuts. It's like, I can read a fucking, excuse me, frickin' book while I, while I drink it for like 20 minutes. This is Gina 27. I heard they had cold plunge this year, but I never got the chance to come. So I never, I hardly came down here, so I'm really not going to go down here. I think it's another gym up the that might be where the cold lunches are. Uh, the rest up here is the same. Protein bars, juice shops, nice restaurants. Um, and then Tiger, I'll end it up Tiger. Yay, I'll get that up. Got that. A lot of people saying, what does it do? Pharmacy. speed bumps but that doesn't seem to slow anyone down on this road uh, no taxi no thank you Outback, I'll show you Outback Hostel when I leave. Uh, so Tiger's kind of like the where everyone seems to go. Uh, the majority of people on the street, at least, who are doing Muay Thai. A lot go to Top Team and um, Mind Gym Dragon. They don't do, they just do uh, Muay Thai, so they don't do MMA or Jiu Jitsu or whatever. Um, so I like it though, it's good. They're all intro. You can you can be brand new. Any gym doesn't matter. You just go in brand new. But um, um, Dragon was really uh, just a re more of a relaxing vibe. I've heard compared to other places, to the other places on the street. And then obviously, if you get off the street, I believe there's there's gyms all over the place. So just check it out. If you like fruit, I'd get off the street to buy all your fruit. Um, once you get off the street, everything's like you know a dollar cheaper or whatever. So it adds up. Uh, so here's Tiger. It looks like a car dealership. There's a big restaurant out front. Yeah, there. Tiger's the, kind of the big gym around here, as you can tell. From the uh, world class flags. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'll end it there. I'll show, uh, show out back real quick before I leave. Hell yeah, dude. And now I, of course, it's a hot ass day. I'd probably rather it be hot than raining though, so it's all good. All right, let's place a jungle. It's a fucking jungle, dude. <laughs> so yeah, you just, uh, here's where I was walking. Just turn left here, where that sign is, between the smoothie shop. And now back is just right here. So the musicians live uh, right here in this house, so they play some they're playing like ACDC. I don't know what they're playing the other night, but uh, yeah, they play some good music. I love this little mini mart here, but unfortunately, it's closed. Like, I wish it was open. That way, I'd have literally a mart that I could get to in half a second. So there's Outback Hostel, but uh, the owner, I don't know if he's the owner or what, but um, Jane's Tattoo Studio is where you want to go, which is just right here, to uh, if you want to like pay or talk to people about paying or you know what I'm saying. And here's Outback Hostel. This is where a lot of the trainers stay right here. There's, a little, there's some rabbits. One of them has like five inch long teeth. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, I paid about four, five thousand baht a month, and it was um, non-AC. I think it's another thousand or fifteen hundred. Hello. Hello. I leave. Mm -hmm. I go bye bye. Uh, for AC, yeah. And I think he gets that light too. So just a bed, a, ca a cupboard or a closet. I do laundry here. And um, a fridge. Okay, I see it. And this is where I brush my teeth every day. And I look at myself in the mirror. Toilet, this is pee only. So no pooping here. And here's some showers. There's the hot shower at the end. I'd use usually use the cold though. And there you go. Here's a little bonus footage. I'll show you the gym, and that'll be it. I guess you could call it a gym. There is a huge tire. I guess it's a gym. I didn't use a lot of the stuff, like the bags, because I was always pretty tired. I know. So yeah, I don't think this works. I'm just taking video. Uh, we basically just use a that that for bench press. Like that. So yeah, there's some bars here to if you want to play around on. It's pretty simple. Cool. Outback hostel in a nut shell. And I don't know where my kitties are, so I don't know if I'll get to show you them. I guess I could cut a video in. Yeah, there's two little cute kitties. They're getting big. They've definitely grown in the last two months and I don't see them, but I don't like to buy them. Anyway, so it could be for the best. We had some late night cuddle sessions last night, so I think they knew I was bailing. Here's like, this one's not really what I'm, what I'm talking about, but he's all right. I don't know where they are. That's a bummer. I really wanted to say goodbye to my kitties. All the jackfruits fell off the tree and rotted, so I don't know if uh, I don't know if they just fall naturally and then you eat them soon after, or if, if these ones just weren't good. Anyway, yes. <laughs> Look at that. But I finally realized around the mid 70s that if I'm pushing anything away, it's got me. And the game is to become free, not to get high, because high is still a place where there's fear. And it's only when you're free that you're not frightened. What would you be frightened of? <laughs>